Good morning, everyone. My name is Buddy Lewis, and I'm the director of the Tennessee Highway Safe Safety Office. And just for your information, the Tennessee Highway Safety Office is a division of the Tennessee Department of Safety and Homeland Security. So on behalf of myself and Commissioner Jeff Long, uh, I want to welcome you here this morning. And I want to thank everyone for coming today to uh, listen to our very important message that we're going to give you today and to everyone across the state of Tennessee. Our partners today include the Tennessee Highway Patrol, the Tennessee Association of Chiefs of Police, which we are very appreciative of being the host of this uh, press event today, the Tennessee Sheriff's Association, uh, and the AAA Auto, the Auto Club Group. And we're very grateful and thankful for our local media being here today to be able to spread our message and be a partner in this event today. The purpose of today's event is to announce the launch of the Tennessee Highway Safety Office Slow Down Tennessee campaign to increase awareness and reduce speed related crashes, injuries, and fatalities statewide. And this campaign starts today, April the 14th through April the 28th. This year, AAA, the Auto Club Group, funded $5,000 sponsorship to the Tennessee Association of Chiefs of Police to create Slow Down Tennessee yard signs uh, so the public across our state can have these yard signs. And I must say, these yard signs are a hot item across the state. Everyone is wanting yard signs to, to display uh, to slow down Tennessee. Uh, the Tennessee Highway Safety Office is, cur is currently distributing these yard signs to citizens across our state who request them by emailing info at tntrafficsafety.org. So we uh, are asking people who want these yard signs to go to that uh, website and request those uh, yard signs. We have already received an overwhelming increase of uh, amount of requests of, for yard signs across the state and we're getting feedback from the public regarding the dangerous driving behavior that, and, that is being displayed in our roadways and our highways and our local neighborhoods. Our citizens are concerned for the safety of older drivers and also teen drivers and everyone using the roadways across Tennessee. This campaign also includes a, an emphasis on the Tennessee Move Over Law to advocate for roadway workers, emergency vehicles, and anyone pulled over on the side of the road. Together, we can reduce, reduce these fatalities and make sure everyone arrives home safely. Let's focus on the road, put down the phones, never drink and drive, mind your speed, make certain you never speed, buckle up every trip, every time. At this time, our next speaker will be from the Tennessee Highway Patrol, Lieutenant Colonel Jimmy Johnson. Good morning. On behalf of Colonel Perry, CHP is excited to partner with our local city police departments and sheriff's offices across the state for Slow Down Tennessee. We know by everybody working together, we will make a difference and lives will be saved. We have instructed our instructed our troopers to be hyper vigilant while on duty patrolling for people that are driving unsafe and exceeding the speed limit. Speed has become a contributing factor to numerous crashes involving fatalities and serious injury crashes. There's three things that we want the public to be mindful of when they plan to travel on their highways. Plan ahead, leave in plenty of time, have alternate routes in mind in case you hit traffic. Call ahead if you're going to be late. Plain and simple, do not speed. Speeding is, a, is an issue that we must address. This is why I'm here today standing with our partners from the Sheriff's Office, Police Departments, and Tennessee Highway Safety Officers and exter external partners that have come to put this campaign in the forefront. If you see someone driving unsafe, do not hesitate and call Star THP from your cell phone. That number is star 847. They will get you in contact with our dispatch centers across the state. Dispatch would then send a trooper to that area. With warmer weather approaching, please make sure to watch out for motorcyclists and pedestrians. We as law enforcement across the country want everyone to drive safely. That is why we put a huge emphasis on educating the public on safe driving. We want everyone to get home to their family safely. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here today. 
Uh, you know, here in Williamson County, you would think that uh, as law-abiding citizens we have here, we don't have anybody that speaks. But it's the biggest complaint that I get on a daily basis. Just recently here, one of my sergeants clocked a car doing 92 miles an hour down one of the state highways. By the time he got turned around, the driver had already run off the road, impaled into a tree, the, tree, the car caught fire. We were not able to get this guy out. Just to hear the voice crackle on this seasoned veteran sergeant call, I need help. I'm out of fire extinguisher. I can't get this guy out. I need help. It is just really mind-numbing to hear that. And as, as I mentioned, it's one of the biggest complaints that we have throughout our county. We are going to be stepping up patrols throughout the summer with our motor units and our, and our, and our deputies working the road. We're going to be working hand in hand with THP and, and Franklin Police Department, and I know the other sheriff's officers will be doing the same. It's an honor to be here, and I just want to can't stress enough. Like I tell everybody when I when I leave someplace, watch your speed out there because we're going to be out there. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm honored to represent the over 1,200 members of the Tennessee Association of Chiefs of Police to emphasize how important this is. All of our officers across the state of Tennessee work very hard to keep our roadways safe. We know that vacations are about to start. There's a lot of holidays this summer. So we totally emphasize what you've already heard today. Buckle up your seatbelt, watch for aggressive driving, and the road rage situation has gotten totally out of hand. Out of hand. Um, officers will also be watching closely for impaired driving. That's certainly a high emphasis in this area since we had a police officer killed by an impaired driver just two years ago, um, son of one of my lieutenants, shift commander. So we have a zero tolerance for this. We'll all be working with our partners, both state, local, and sheriff's departments to stop anyone who's driving too fast, who's being aggressive, and who's impaired. Thank you. AAA is, um, traffic safety is really at the core of what AAA stands for, and that means keeping drivers safe on the roadways here in Tennessee and educating drivers on how to stay safe behind the wheel. AAA research tells us that speeding drivers are on Tennessee's, Tennesseans' radars when it comes to roadway safety. Um, over half of residents are very concerned about speeding drivers in regard to keeping Tennessee's roadways safe. However, despite these concerns, AAA research also tells us that Tennesseans continue to exceed the speed limit anyway. Nearly 7 in 10 Tennesseans had personally driven more than 5 miles over the posted speed limit on highways, while just over half had driven more than 5 miles over the posted speed limit on residential roadways. The harsh reality for drivers is that speed has a major impact on the number of crashes and injury severity. When drivers travel at high rates of speed, it increases the distance a vehicle travels from the time a driver detects an emergency to the time the driver reacts. It increases the risk that an evasive steering maneuver will result in the loss of control of that vehicle. And it also increases the crash energies exponentially. Previous research done by the AAA Foundation for Traffic Safety found that the faster a driver is going before a crash, the less likely it is they'll be able to get down to a survivable speed, even if they have a chance to brake before impact. Driving at high speeds also has the potential to cancel out the benefits of vehicle safety equipment. Speeding drivers also endanger the lives of those at our state's roadsides. Our survey by AAA found that 97% of motorists are concerned about vehicles passing at high rates of speed when they are stopped at the side of the road. This coupled with the rising number of roadway fatalities reinforces that motorists need to slow down and move over for all vehicles at the roadside, regardless of if it's an emergency vehicle or tow provider with flashing lights or disabled vehicle belonging to a driver with their hazard lights on. AAA urges drivers to stay alert and undistracted behind the wheel, watch for all disabled vehicles at the side of the road, slow down, and move over to give them space. A lot of information and statistics have been shared so far today, but for drivers, it's very, it's very important to understand that speeding is dangerous. When you drive over the speed limit, even just by a little bit, you put yourself and everyone else on the road with you in danger. 
Even though speeding is a common practice amongst drivers, that doesn't make it safe or legal. I'm encouraging all drivers to give yourself plenty of time to get where you're going, slow down, and help everyone on our Tennessee roadways arrive safely to their destination. Thank you, Megan. And we appreciate very much the partnerships we have with everyone up here and everyone uh, across the state, all agencies. We, we funnel uh, our, our office, the Tennessee Highways, Highway Safety Office, uh, has uh, 20, roughly $27 million to distribute to agencies across the state uh, to combat uh, fast driving, uh, impaired driving, uh, seat belt usage and things of that nature. And every day I get the fatality report. Uh, when I look at that, I don't look at just numbers because every number represents a person. And that's one thing that I want to make certain that we all understand is these are just not numbers. They're not fatality numbers. They're people. They're people who will not be at a family dinner tonight. There are people who will not be celebrating birthdays with parents or grandparents or children in the future. There are people who have lost their lives because someone made a decision to do something that causes a fatality crash. And that behavior costs lives each and every day across our Tennessee roadways. So I just want to make certain that everybody understands. And I say this everywhere I go. Traffic safety is public safety. Traffic safety is public safety. There are people killed and mauled on our roadways each and every day. And until it hits you personally, you may not think that much about it. But I can tell you from knowing people who have lost loved ones to traffic crashes, uh, it affects people for the rest of their lives. And it affects people's friends for the rest of their lives. So our message today is very clear. Slow down, drive the speed limit. Don't do anything behavior-wise while you're driving a vehicle that would cause a crash because you never know what you do may cause a fatality of someone you may know. So we urge people to drive safely and practice safe driving habits. We want a special, thank, a special thanks this morning. As I was driving down to Franklin, I noticed where TDOT is already displaying Slow Down Tennessee across their roadway signage, uh, their digital signage. That's just a reminder for people to slow down. So we appreciate the partnerships that we have represented here. We appreciate everyone abiding by the laws across the road, uh, roadways of Tennessee, saving lives. That's our mission, is to save lives on the roadways of Tennessee. So that concludes our press event. If anyone wants to interview anyone in particular when it's over, feel free to do so. We appreciate the media being here. We appreciate everyone being here. And we look forward to a safe weekend coming up. And we look forward to a safe remainder of your year. Thank you.